So yeah, this season has been a busy one. I mean, we've got Two Year Eternity. We've got Combatants Will Be Dispatched. I mean, we have My Hero Academia Season 5. Come on, let's be real. And out of all those amazing shows and more that I didn't even mention, the show I'm going to be talking about today is none other than Nagatoro-san. Oh yeah. Now originally, I didn't think I was going to like Nagatoro-san because, call me weird, I didn't really like the idea of a show about bullying somebody. But yeah, now that I've watched three episodes, I can say without a doubt that this is purely wholesome bullying. Now, what is wholesome bullying? I, I, it's kind of hard to explain, and that's why we're going to be talking about Nagatoro-san. So let's start with episode one. Originally, when I watched episode one, I really kind of wasn't into it because once again, it really is just Nagatoro bullying the crap out of... Uh, what is his name? I just realized I don't know the main character's name because she always calls him Senpai. It is... Wait, where the f*** is it? Does he not have a name? Ah, Hach Hachiyoji. Hach Hachiyoji. I'm gonna call him Hachi because that's gonna be a lot easier to say for me. Either way, the first episode really is just Nagatoro going around and bullying and being just an absolute menace to Hachi. And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be real. I mean, I did not really enjoy the character, which is a shame because I really like the art style. And I was like, this is, looks like a pretty show. It's got some really cool facial features and to like not watch this show is gonna suck. But then everything changed at the end of episode one. You see, at the end of episode one, the two characters basically have a small conversation. Basically, Nagatoro says, hey, I'm sorry for bullying you. I kind of went overboard. It was pretty mean. I, I won't bother you anymore. And instead of Hachi being like, good riddance, you know, Hachi kind of turns to her and goes, hey, look, you know, I know it was all in good fun. And frankly, it's just kind of nice to have somebody around to talk to. And that shit melted my heart. I wanted to cry. That was so freaking cute and wholesome and I did not expect that. And then after that, things just kind of make sense. I mean, you can tell that Hachi really doesn't care too much about the fact that Nagatoro is bothering him and he actually kind of likes that Nagatoro is bullying him. And you can see that because he kind of pushes it onward sometimes. So yeah, after episode two, with that context now, we can basically tell that Nagatoro is bullying Hachi with no real malicious intent. She's doing it because she knows he's kind of into it and that's fun and that she kind of likes it and that it's fun for her too. It's surprisingly meta because they both put themselves into these boxes or make themselves these caricatures and they both aren't exactly those caricatures, but they both try to emulate that idea of it. Like for instance, Hachi puts himself in this box where he's like this white knight, innocent little guy who'll do anything to help anybody and is just a sweethearted and can easily be bullied by other people. And Nagatora puts herself in this box as this like, she's this Yaru who's like a mean bully who just wants to fight, right? But both of them aren't actually those kind of characters. They, they have a lot of those traits, but in reality, they are different. They're not those exact caricatures. But the weird meta thing is that they try to pretend like they are. Sorry, this is kind of convoluted. Let me give an example so it actually makes a little bit more sense. So let's talk about the nipple game. Basically, Nagatoro pitches a somewhat sexual game where the objective of the game is to put your fingers on the other person's nipples by just straight up guessing, thinking that Hachi won't have the guts to go back and do it to her. So she goes first and she actually misses, giving Hachi a chance. And Nagatoro kind of expects Hachi not to go through with it because his caricature is that he's a spineless kind of loser who would be too afraid to do it. But once again, Hachi's real personality kind of leaks out a little bit and he's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> like, like he's totally down for it. And he almost gets it, but obviously once again, Nagatoro being the exact same way as Hachi is, pulls back and like makes a joke that he was too slow or something like that. When in reality, she was kind of embarrassed of letting him, you know, grope her basically. I know this seems weird, but this is such a cool concept because basically you have characters who are playing other characters for the sake of each other. Like they aren't exactly who they act like they are. And you can tell that through their simple character breaks at times. I know it seems weird, but it's such a unique interesting way to show off your characters and most shows just make their characters the generic caricatures and that's it but actually in Nakatoro-san they feel very 
real, very individualized. Like, I don't know, in, in high school, we did things like that. I mean, we didn't play the nipple game because I would have I would have been in a lot of troubles, but we did play games and that was kind of it. We all played kind of caricatures of who we were. And I think that's pretty cool that a show captures that part of life. So anyway, I was sold on this show by episode two, but God, I was not mentally prepared for what episode three would do to me. So, so far, the dynamic between the two characters is that they're just kind of friends and they hang out and they do stupid stuff together, just like most other shows. But the whole joke is that Nagatoro is bullying Hachi, which really isn't the case. And nowhere is that more evident than the cafeteria scene. The cafeteria scene, oh my god, I, I did not expect to like fall in love with this show this much, but that cafeteria scene just made my whole night. Like that was some good fashion, wholesome cuteness. So basically what happens in the cafeteria scene is that Hachi is walking around, all the tables are taken, and of course, Nagatoro waves him down and makes him sit with her and her two other Gyaru friends. Gyaru, I think I pronounced that wrong, Gyaru? You know, I'm not 100% sure on how to pronounce Gyaru, so sorry if I butcher it. And instead of Nagatoro doing her usual, like, I'm gonna bully the crap out of you thing, she gets super protective of Hachi. Like, for instance, she doesn't even let the other girl touch him. She seems kind of interested when they bring up the joke that, you know, are they dating, quote unquote. And of course, the other girl, I think her name was Sakura, kind of catches on to Nagatoro being actually into Hachi and starts poking and prodding Nagatoro. And you see Nagatoro actually get really pissed off. And that's kind of cool because you see Nagatoro like actually turn and get mad because Sakura is making fun of Hachi and Nagatoro knows that it's not in light that she's actually being kind of mean to Hachi. Once again, they are real characters kind of leaking through their caricatures. And this time we actually see Hachi kind of resolve the scene. He stands up, makes a big joke. Everyone stares at him and completely diffuses the situation. And it's clear that he didn't do it just to be like, haha, like I'm an idiot and I don't get the context. It's clear that he understood the context of the situation and that the whole point was that he just wanted to diffuse the situation where Nagatoro didn't actually get mad. And so that's what happens. And that's, I don't know, man, that's like some grade S writing. It's so freaking good. Like, it's just like these small little tidbits and scenes where all the characters just let certain aspects slide. I know I'm doing a terrible job of describing this, but just trust me, it's amazing. I, I just had a realization. Wait, Nagatoro and Hachi are that anime parents couple, right? Where the father is quiet and doesn't talk much and the mother is like extremely hot, over the top, and eccentric, right? Holy crap, I just connected those dots. They're, they're that couple. They're gonna have a anime protagonist son. This is it, this is fate, guys. I figured out the whole premise of the show for Nagatoro-san. You're welcome. It's just all one big meta joke, isn't it? But yeah, if you guys haven't watched Nagatoro-san, I highly recommend it, because once you get the context that these characters aren't really bullying each other and that it is truly wholesome bullying. It kind of turns into a cute-ish slice of life slash romance show where the two characters have a really unique dynamic that I don't see pulled off properly in most other shows because usually in other shows where someone's bullying the other character, I am not having a good time. And like I said, if you're like me and you don't like shows where people are bullying other people, then this show actually doesn't fit that description because once you get the context of episode one, Nakatoro really isn't bullying Hachi. Granted, she does go overboard sometimes and Hachi lets her know because usually he'll start crying. Yeah, I don't know. This show is actually so much fun and I, I owe it to Dakota Broski because he's the one who made me watch the show because he is constantly promoting it. He's a good friend, by the way. If you guys don't watch more Nagatoro content, I'll have a link to his channel in the description. He's a huge Nagatoro fan, and he knows so much more about the show than I ever freaking could. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Sorry if my mic sounds a bit different. Hopefully it sounds better. I'm not 100% sure. I redid my whole entire microphone setup, so it should sound better, but it may sound much worse. Let me know down in the description if you guys like the mic change or not, because this took a, long, a lot of time to set up, but you know, it also saves me a bit of time in the editing process, which is kind of nice. Also, if you guys want to join the Discord, we have a Discord and we're actually doing watch parties. We're watching Air McCoon season two. 
So if you guys want to join us and hang out, the Discord's a lot of fun. It's surprisingly active. I'll have a link to that down in the description below. Either way, huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are my heroes. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. This is my man, Matt. Make sure you guys stay man and go watch that goddamned anime.